the City of Paducah Planning Department has created what they call a toolbox of programs to encourage the stabilization, rehabilitation, and further development of downtown Paducah. Planning Director Steve Irvin and Downtown Development Specialist Main Street Director Melinda Winchester are here to provide the details of the programs in this episode of Paducah View. About a year and a half ago, we decided to create a toolbox for downtown for the reconstruction of the buildings, stabilization of the buildings, our historic resources, but also put some programs in place that can help people occupy those buildings. And the first one that we did was the roof stabilization program. And that program, we've already gone through two years. So far, we've uh, funded seven roof projects. Uh, they usually open up in July, and at no point can 50% of the roof cost be paid for by the city. A lot of times, though, that number is lower depending upon the number of applications submitted. But that stabilizes the structure downtown. The second program that we have, and that's this year, is the Upper Story Residential Living Initiative. And what we're trying to do there is, is bring more people downtown. It adds to the vitality of downtown. Our goal is, is to have 10 new residents living downtown each year. As I said, this is the first year, but uh, this will be an ongoing pr program. And eventually we'd like to see 50 more units uh, in the downtown area. That also, the Upper Story Residential Living Initiative can be funded up to $15,000 per unit. The third program uh, in our toolbox is the tax moratorium program. After the stabilization of the structures, we can freeze the tax for up to a five-year period. And then after five years, your property is reassessed. But this allows them to stay at their assessment before the work's actually done. And there has to be a minimum of $75,000 worth of work done. The character and the beauty of our historic downtown is something that really draws a lot of the visitors and potential new businesses to our area. So what we tried to do is to develop some programs that would assist um, the existing businesses with facade um, and beautification. So we developed a micro-grant program. So we have two. The first one is the facade grant, which is a matching grant up to $1,000 for existing property owners to beautify their facade. So that includes painting, signs, new doors awnings, things like that that really can make a difference attracting people to your business. The other one is our beautification micro grant and it's similar to the facade grant but it's a little bit smaller but it also includes things like plants outside and public art if they want to do some public art outside, things like that. And it's a matching grant up to $100 on the grant side so they could potentially spend $200 and get $100 to go toward those. The third thing we did to really attract small businesses is to our downtown is our downtown small business grant. That one has two levels. Anyone that is going to utilize under a thousand square feet for their business, they can get a hundred percent reimbursement up to five thousand dollars for the eligible costs. Um, and then after that, fifty percent reimbursement between five thousand and ten thousand of the next eligible cost. The second level are for people who are going to utilize over a thousand square feet. So they can actually get a hundred percent reimbursement up to $7,500 of the eligible cost and then 50% for $7,500 to $15,000. So potentially the max for those is a $10,000 match and a $15,000 match, which can help a small business trying to get started you know, with marketing and signs and, and a lot of those permits and utility connections that can really cost a lot for a new business coming into downtown. The other incentive that we have, and it's, it's a state and, and federal program, is of course the historic tax credits, which for rehabilitation on, on a project can be um, very economically feasible and make a difference in your project. So for the state tax credit, Kentucky has one that's refundable. So you have to follow the National Park Service guidelines when you do your rehabilitation. There is a process. There's an application. The work has to be approved at the state and federal level. And then the owner can get up to 20% of their eligible cost sent back to them by the state of the Kentucky at the end of the project. The federal tax credit's a little bit different. It actually goes towards your tax liability, but it will carry forward up to 20 years. And that is a set 20% of the rehabilitated cost. So that, that can be quite significant too for a business. And then they can utilize it for um, up to 20 years on their tax liability. 
Our toolbox incentives, we really are looking forward to having it revitalize our downtown even more. We're already seeing the effects of it for this year, for this fiscal year. I've had 11 facade grant applications approved and um, the improvements. We're bringing new businesses in and you know, we'll have more people on the streets and living downtown and um, I just, I know it's already changing our downtown and it'll do more in the future. If you have questions about any of these programs, contact the planning department at 270-444-8690 or visit paducahky.gov. Thank you for watching Paducah View.